It's not RC. Adventures in Radio Control. Radio Control. Hi, folks. Wanted to give you an update on my uh, workshop. It's uh, coming along pretty nicely. As you can see, I've got the uh, I've got the workbench back here. It's actually being used, which is nice. So we're digging that. What's perhaps not so great, though, is uh, this corner over here. Where I've just got airplanes stacked up in the corner, and it's just a big mess. And uh, I've decided I need to do something about that. So I was down at Ikea the other day and I, I bumped into these uh, sort of brackety, kitchen, hangy, closety, racky looking things. Uh, I believe it's called the Bagel or Bagel or something. I get these at Ikea. And I thought, hmm, this might actually be useful. So I picked up a whole bunch of these. So what the heck do I plan on doing with that? Well, uh, what I did was I uh, bolted it up to the ceiling here above all my mess. And uh, yeah, I've used some pretty serious anchor bolts that's uh, pretty strong up there and hopefully that ain't going nowhere. So I snagged every uh, wire coat hanger we had in the house and I've been busily making these rather strange little uh, things here. Basically it's got a uh, hook on one end and uh, I got a couple of hooks here and I put some surgical tubing out of an old high start on the ends there. And uh, let's see if I can show you what I have in mind here. So, I'm going to hang the hook up here. There we go. Uh, take my airplane here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this with one hand, am I? Uh, yeah, okay, well let me hang it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but uh, basically I've got it just looped over the uh, over the back of the horizontal stabilizer here. Just popped up there like that, and uh, there you go. Plane's uh, hanging up like that, up out of the way. So I guess the uh, next thing to do is just uh, make up a whole bunch more of these and uh, hang all my crap up on the ceiling, up out of the way. So I've kind of had to make uh, custom doodads uh, depending on the airplane. Uh, there's a V-tail here. So uh, this one kind of goes together like that. Uh, they're all a bit different. Kind of fun designing them though. Goes in there. Another sort of custom one for a detail. This one just wraps around the uh, fuselage here. I get that right? There we go. That uh, kind of works. It's pretty strong. Oh, she goes. oh yeah, that's working good. Liking that we are. Okay, I'm going to put together a real simple one for my uh, trusty little combat plane here. Got a standard tail, so basically I'm just going to create two hooks that go under the tail here and uh, grab hold of that. So, start with our coat hanger here. First thing I'm going to do is uh, cut it right in half. There we go. Alright. Then we start bending stuff. Now, when I first did this, started doing this, I was making all these bends real pretty and Everything was just straight and just right, and I realized, what the heck am I doing? You know, this is, nobody's gonna see this, doesn't matter, it's just for hanging stuff up, so don't get too nuts about all these curves and stuff and get everything exactly right, but it does help to start with a fairly straight piece of metal. So, get somewhat straight to start with. Doesn't have to be perfect, but okay, Alright, so, 
figure out how long this needs to be. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is open my hook here. That'll work, but uh, I want something a little bit more, uh, not quite as, I don't know, this is designed for going around a, you know, a big round uh, piece of wood, so I'm going to make something that's a little bit more, sh better shape from the piece I'm going to be using here. So, let's see here. 90 degree bend. Another 90 degree. And then 45 degrees back the other way. So now you get the idea. I should have a hook there. That should work. All right, so let's figure out how long this needs to be. Clear everything, so. Right about here. So I'm gonna bend both of these over. Steel wire is a pain in the to cut, but this stuff is pretty soft. It snips right through. Now, what I've done on my other rather nicer planes is I've uh, put some uh, silicon rubber over the end of here or a bit of tubing. You could use whatever you need, want, I suppose. And uh, this plane, I'm not too worried about it. But uh, let's see how we're going here. I don't think anything's going to really damage it too much. The thing doesn't weigh anything, so. So, let's see what we got here. That's pretty good. That might work. Beauty. All right. Sorted. Let's go hang her up. Oh, here we go. So, put her on there. Perfect. And up she goes. And as simple as that. There you go. I'm liking this, so I think you get the idea. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's going to work out. And uh, I bought four of these bars, so there's always room for expansion. And maybe I'll put them further out along the uh, room here. Or I think I want to avoid like putting one in front of the other, because then you got to get around back of it. you got to take all the ones up the front to get the ones in the back. So I think, yeah, yeah I think I just want to keep it a big long line that I can get at. I mean, I guess I could still stuff behind this, but... Uh, Right now the axis is pretty good though, I'm liking this. And out of the way, I really like that. No more clutter. Up out of the way, up out of trouble. Can't knock them over. And I almost forgot, uh, you guys are almost certainly gonna wanna know. Okay, that's fine, but what did I do with all the wings? Well, those are uh, over here for now. Uh, I haven't figured out a perfect system for it yet, but yeah, basically they're just uh, Got them stuffed up in the, here, in the corner here, all standing vertically. And you know what, actually, that's, that's a pretty efficient way of storing them. I mean, they uh, definitely get a lot of wings in a small space this way, but it's, it's not ideal, especially if I need a wing that's in the back. It's like, I bring everything up. But anyway, yeah, uh, got the fuselages out of the way for now. All right, that'll have to do for this video. I don't want to get too long. Uh, take care, bye.